two, one. Two zero complete. Okay, so here we are at Mac 3. So I'm just going to drop it down a second and pull up my script. Now it's opened in Notepad. Okay, so this is the management part of the script. Okay, now a script is uh, essentially a computer program. Now this part here, and the way that this, the, the, this program then, or script, has been written, um, it doesn't matter whether you're using Mac 3 in Inches or Imperial, or in Metric, it will pick it up. But what you must do when you load this into you or into Mac 3, and I'll show you how to do that in a second or two. In my case, I'm using metric. So I have put these parameters in because it's what I require or my touch plate that I've made. This first one here, right, is saying, okay, well, it's millimeter units. Okay. You don't have to worry about changing anything. It will automatically look at Mac 3 and see what units you have Mac 3 set at. That's number one. Number two, and now I set this at 25.4. Now this is the maximum distance of travel when it's looking to find the touch plate. After that, an error message will come up if it doesn't find it. Okay, this is the feed rate in millimeters per minute, uh, 125 millimeters per minute. You can make this whatever you wish, but when you're dealing with a touch probe, uh, to get accuracy, do it slowly. Now, I may speed this up a little bit, but at the moment, this is fine. Uh, standoff. Now, this is how much it's going to retract after it has registered zero on the touch plate. Now, this is the touch plate measurement. Yours may be different, so you just fill it in here. Okay, mine is 12 millimeters. Uh, these two here, don't worry about. This is uh, if you have. Uh, a second or third uh, type of, um, you know, whether you've got a puck or whether you, you, you know, you're using some other device other than the touch plate that I've designed. And I have the same here in inches. I'm not using inches, so it's not necessary for me to have these set correctly, but you will need some figures in here. So when you load this into your Mark 3, these are the numbers that will be there. If you are using inches and you want it different, uh, you know, to suit your touch plate or whatever, it would be necessary to, for you to fill these in. Really, that, as, as far as the script, script goes, that's all, you, uh, that's all you need to alter. Don't touch anything else. There are many, many lines of script here, and uh, I say to you again, don't alter it, because it will either not work at all, or it could allow your machine to do something that you don't want it to do. Okay, so these are the only parameters that you should alter, and choose whether you're using metric or imperial. Okay, and I will say again, I did not entirely write 100% of this script myself. I have taken it from many, many different scripts that I've had in the past, 
and that I've uh, I've written in the past, uh, and I've also obtained from other manufacturers. Okay, so what you simply do from the pad then, Windows uh, Notepad, is right click, select all, right click again, copy, I can get out of that, open up Mac 3, you come up here then to operator, edit script, edit button script, sorry, click on that, and you'll find that some of the buttons here will flash. So you go into your auto tool set in here and you paste the script in here. If there is some sort of script here uh, when you open it up, it should only just be one little line of script up here. Right? Um, select that and delete it and paste all of this script into this window and press the red X and say yes. So then close Mac 3 and save. Okay. Next thing to do is to copy this audio file. Go into C files and paste it into Mac 3. Just directly into the Mac 3 at this point here. Just paste it. You don't have to open it, just paste it in there. There are two files which will be available to patent, uh, patrons. And uh, that is, you just paste them straight into Mac 3 there. You do nothing else. Start Mac 3 up again. After placing your new script in the script editor, uh, we can get out of that. There are a few changes that you will need to make in Mac 3. So you come up here to config, general configuration. Now you will need to ensure that allow wave files that allows Mac 3 to look for and use the audio file that uh, accompanies the new script. Uh, allow speech, click that box and unclick this box down here. Otherwise Mac 3 will be beeping all over the place. Okay, so that's the only things you need to alter there. Come out of that. So then go back into config, go back into ports and pins, input signals, and just scroll down to ensure that your probe is ticked. Now, my particular uh, breakout board, um, everything are, is on port 3. And remember me saying that the wire connects into uh, terminal 4 on the board. So you put terminal 4 there. Uh, and also, you know, if you've got an e-stop connected, make sure that the e-stop is um, ticked and you have the appropriate uh, number in here. That's the only things you need to change. Okay, so you follow those very simple steps, okay, and it will work just fine. Now then the next thing you must do, now we've restarted Mac 3, okay, so every time you come to use your machine, you, and, and switch it on, you must home your machine, and we'll do that right now. Uh, this is in part of the script, okay. Uh, you must home the machine because you are dealing with uh, the offsets of the machine. Okay, it's written into the script that when you turn the script on, you must home your machine so Mac 3 
knows exactly what its parameter, overall parameters are. Don't start up, you know, from where you were the day before and expect this to operate just like that. Because I don't think it will. In fact, I know it won't. It'll just stand there and you'll wonder, oh, why is it not working? Because Mac 3 is waiting for you to home your machine. You're only going to do it once and then you're okay for all day. Okay, and you can set your tool as many times as you want. Okay, so I'm going to take this over manually. Okay, so now we will home our machine. Okay, now we're home, so I'm going to bring it over to this touch plate now uh, with this imaginary piece of work. Oh, incidentally too, because I nearly forgot to do it, turn your soft limits on. That's also written into the script. Okay, so I'm sort of less than an inch there away. I'll take it down a little bit further. Um, right, next thing that you must do, okay, is the first operation is to zero your x and y coordinates so we will imaginary you know we'll make this where this is here we'll make this that okay we're happy here this is where our x y coordinate is so we will zero that x zero y zero this is another precautionary uh, th item that i've written into the code if you don't do that, it'll just stand there. It's, I've put as many protections into this, this, this script as I could think of. So, next thing you do is connect your earth onto your tool. You may also wish to check your circuit. Okay, I'll show you how to do that too. I'll just um, zoom you into Mark 3 up there and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so going to the diagnostic window, catch hold of your touch plate and just touch it onto the end of the tool and you'll see digitize, the digitize um, LED will flash. That means Mark 3 is absolutely certain there's a circuit and your touch probe is working electronically. Okay, we're going to go back into the run window. Now then, uh, the tool setting device is set underneath the tool. The earth is connected. We've checked to see whether we have a connection electronically, and we have. So next thing to do is to touch our auto tool set. And this dialog box will come up and it, it actually prompts you okay 12 millimeter i'll show you where else to put that 12 millimeter in as well as another precautionary measure if you go into offsets i've actually put this into mount 3 as well okay to make doubly sure okay back into program run window open up uh, tool setting device. Now then, 
If you want to have the three second countdown, you come into here to the delay and press three second delay and then press OK and then you'll get the three second countdown and Mac 3 will carry out the probe in sequence. Three, two, one. You see the DROs here coming down. Just going to touch. Two zero complete. And it's an overall measurement of 20 millimeters above the material. That's your 12 millimeters of your touch plate and a further 8 millimeters of clearance. Three, two, one. Complete. Okay, so the reason I made the 8 millimeters clearance off the touch plate was because it allows you to pull this out. This is a 6 mil step here, so it allows you to pull it out and push it in, so there's no real mucking around, <laughs> having to raise it further on up, and it's an overall 20 millimeter. Um, over the height of the material. So there you are. Z height touch plate. Had to connect it up. Had to put the script in uh, with a little bit of AI as well. And uh, of course, the script is available to patrons. Patron information and a direct link will be under this uh, video in the video description area. So if you've liked what you've seen, press like and subscribe and come and have a look at some of my other videos. There is now 788 or 89, one of the two. <laughs> so thank you for joining me and uh, till next time it's bye for now.